हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल लर्न समथिंग अबाउट हुडनी आर बी डी ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वी हैव हुडनी 16.5 पॉइंट फाइव ओके फर्स्ट वी टेक अ जियो नोट वी गो इन साइड इट डिलीट द फाइल एंड नाउ वी विल मेक अ बॉक्स we transform it now we animate the box using the transformation okay so now our box will translate to x axis we want it to be on the surface so now it's animating okay what we want is we want to take this box to our rbd solver so let's make it first we need to assemble this we use the assemble shop create pack primitive so now our geometry is become packed we can check it here we have one packed frame fragment okay so what packing does packing store all the attributes and data from the box to a single point as you can see here here we have eight points but now after packing it we have only one points with all the data of that box okay so now we use dot network connect it to the first input of dot network dive inside it it only have an output node so let's make for rigid body first we need rbd packed object a bullet solver and a gravity sorry so that's connected so now we have our packed objects solver and gravity force let's call our object into the dot net let's see what happens it's going down we also need the ground so let's make a ground plane use a simple merge first connect it to the ground plane and then to the bullet solver it is very important to connect the ground plane to the left cause otherwise it will not work see if you connect it this way it will not work see so let's connect the ground plane and it's working fine but what we see is our object is not animating so let's make it animated for this we need an attribute called animated so we create integer attribute act animated is equal to 1 so now sorry we have to turn this on sorry we have we also have to mention to make it active zero and sorry deform ne deforming so now oh, oh, let's see if we have any mission here yes then
see we have animated one so that's why it's not working because the object is deforming now so what is deforming and active and animated so now we will discuss this in detail see if we use deforming it is working okay so what we need we need uh, another box without any animation just above the box we have mm, somewhere around this position okay we can use another assemble node and change the name to box and we can merge it here and we also sorry we also have to give active attribute here active one deforming zero because we want this box to be active see what happened see animated object is colliding with our active object okay so now the third one is animated this one is deforming this is active now the third one is animated so what we will do for animated we need to assemble it first we'll assemble it create back primitive now we will give the transform like whatever the animation is we can copy it and paste it now this one also have that animation but we want it to be reverse so what we will do we will use another transform and push it a bit far and make it negative so what we will do it will come towards the second one and again we need some attributes so we use the same angle and put the active 0 and animated 1 and deforming also be 0 let's merge it with them let's see is equal to 1 why this one is not oh sorry because I didn't change the name box 2 box 1 underscore we can make it we can we are using random names here see deforming object and animated object is colliding deforming object and the animated object is colliding with the active object but it is not colliding with the deforming object see so what's the difference between three of them active animated and deforming see let's see the difference in their attributes they both all of them have different names all of them have different attributes like 
वन हैव एक्टिव वन वन हैव एनिमेटेड वन एंड डिफॉर्मिंग वन सो नॉट मच डिफरेंस है ओके सो लेट्स सी ऑन द प्रिमेटिव साइड ऑन प्रिमेटिव साइड वी हैव ओनली पाथ एट्रीब्यूट बिकॉज दिस इज द ओनली एट्रीब्यूट विच इज अवेलेबल टू अवर ज्योमेट्री द पाथ ऑफ द ज्योमेट्री विच हैव ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन इफ वी अनपैक इट इट विल शो अस द इंफॉर्मेशन विच वी पैक्ड सो फॉर व्यूइंग मोर एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ द पैक्ड प्रिमेटिव वी हैव इंट्रेंसिक प्रिम इंट्रेंसिक दिस वन हैव नॉर्मल एट्रीब्यूट्स फॉर इंट्रेंसिक वन वी हैव दिस ऑप्शन सो दिस हैव सो मैनी ऑप्शन सो द मेन एट्रीब्यूट इज पैक्ड फुल ट्रांसफॉर्म सो वट पैक्ड फुल ट्रांसफॉर्म इज पैक्ड फुल ट्रांसफॉर्म एट्रीब्यूट हैव द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मैट्रिक्स ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट ड्यू टू विच द पॉइंट मूव द ऑब्जेक्ट और ज्योमेट्री अकॉर्डिंग टू द मैट्रिक्स सो इफ वी सी इन अवर डिफॉर्मिंग इन द ट्रांसफॉर्म मैट्रिक्स वी हैव एन आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स सो वट सी विच डिडेंट चेंज सी इट्स सेम ऑन ऑल द फ्रेम्स बिकॉज इट डोंट हैव दैट डेटा ऑन दैट पॉइंट द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन डेटा इज नॉट ऑन द पॉइंट ओके सो for deforming geometry what rigid body solver do it will recalculate the geometry on every frame because it doesn't have it don't have the frame intrinsic data okay so now let's go to the active active object also doesn't have that transformation values because when we packed it it was transformed so on that position it save that position as an initial one and make the full transform matrix according to that okay now the third one the main one the animated one the animated one have some values on its transform matrix c which is changing so this one have that data to move the point or j according to this matrix so now we know what is the difference between these three according to attributes but does it make any difference the answer is yes because for the deforming geometry the bullet solver needs to recook the geometry every frame so what will happen let's see for only one box see if we have only one box there is no problem in deforming if he calculated it on every frame but if we have a high res mesh see like if we remesh it or sorry subdivide it very much for mm, leave it let's take a pig head and subdivide it subdivide it twice or thrice so that it will become heavy on our viewport just to resemble a high res geometry which we are using in the dop net and use the animation same animation which we have now same assemble node everything is same dop net let's make it a bit more in y let's see 
सी नाउ द जोमेट्री इज कैलकुलेटिंग अ बिट स्लो वाई बिकॉज सॉल्वर हैव टू री कुक द जोमेट्री एवरी फ्रेम सो डिफॉर्मिंग जोमेट्री डिफॉर्मिंग ऑप्शन फ्रॉम दैट एट्रीब्यूट इज नॉट मच memory friendly because it took lots of memory to calculate it see so now but if we have the same thing and we change it to same we have the same same thing in our animated let's see it's way much faster than that deforming one why because it will not recook the geometry every frame it will took the geometry on first frame and move it according to its transformation matrix data which we stored on our prime intrinsic see cooking time is way much faster than this one so now we know the difference between animated active and deforming so you guys can choose your rigid body object wisely thanks if you want more some basic tutorials please like and subscribe thank you